hello everyone so as we have started our the spark series so now let us see how actually we can do a setup in our machine and how actually we can do our practical part okay so there are two ways first way is like directly you can use a databricks databricks community edition is free and you can directly practice over there that is the first way and the second way is like you can use a jupyter notebook for the spark okay we are going to see how actually we can install the spark in our machine and how actually we can use a jupyter notebook for the practice okay so that actually we are going to see in this particular video okay so what actually we have to do for that first we have to install the anaconda and then we will see how actually we can install the java jdk apache spark and then we notice i have we have to install okay now let us see how actually we can do first thing is like first we have to install the anaconda okay so this particular link i will give in the description you can get it from the description okay and you can do the same along with me okay so search for the anaconda click on the download okay now download is started once it will download we will try to install it okay so let's wait it to be completed okay now the download is completed now let me go to the so in folder okay now let us try to install so what you have to do you have to double click we have to click on the next agree okay just me okay uh, the destination you have to give next next and it will be installed okay okay so after that we have to click on the next next and the finish okay now after that your installation will be completed for the anaconda okay now next we will see how actually we can install the java jdk so we are going to install the jdk 8 so open a google okay search for the java jdk 8 download okay click on the first one okay and after that you have to go down and you can see windows 64 right this actually we are going to download click on the tick mark click on the download it is asking for the username and password so we will what actually we will do we will try to create and we will try to do a sign up click on the create account okay after that you will receive an uh, verification email so we have to verify that okay once you verified what you have to do we have to log in okay so first you have to give the username and the password okay let me give the username and the password and you have to do a sign up after that the your download will start okay java jdk we have downloaded we are going to install okay click on the next and it is going to install in under the program files java okay click on the next click on the okay click on the next and it is installing the java okay it is installed successfully now after java jdk we will install the apache sparks okay so what you have to do you have to go into the google search for the apache spark download okay click on the first link and you can see you have a download spark 3.5.0 right so click on that so we have to click on the we have to click on this and download is started you can see download is started once it will complete we will try to install that also okay spark is now downloaded so what we have to do we have to click here okay and we have to open with winrr and we have to first extract it okay so what actually we are going to do we are going to extract it so let me extract this uh, as of now we are extracting into the uh, local c okay and here only we are extracting it extract is now completed so let me go to that folder where actually we have extracted so we have extracted you can see spark 3.5 right so here only we have extracted and here only you can see all the things okay what is our next step next step is we have to download the win utils what you have to do you have to go into this particular location 
uh, your particular github file okay let me open that and we have to download the vinutils so that you can use in a windows also okay so what actually we are going to use that we are going to use a hadoop 3.51 okay click here and you can see we have a vinutils.exe right click here and click on the download once it will download right what you have to do go to the download okay this is the win utilize copy this and you have to paste into the the spark location right in the spark location go to the bin and here only you have to paste that okay so that your win utils will be available here okay after win utils we have to do a environmental setup okay we have to specify the path so go to the search search for the environmental you can see we have added the system environmental variable right click on that click on the environment variable and here only we have to provide the path so click on the new first we will write the spark home okay where actually your spark is that particular location you have to provide so you can see in a c folder we have given the spark location right so this is the particular location you have to provide okay click on the okay again click on the new we will write hadoop home okay the same location we will provide okay okay now we have to add one more that is for the java home okay the java particular location we have to provide so where actually we have installed we have installed into the java right program files so go to the program files you can see java Okay, this is the JDK location and this is the location you have to provide here okay so provide this click on the okay okay after okay after that we will add the system variable so click on the system variable new okay and here we will give just the name as a spark home or something okay and the value we have to provide okay so what actually we have to give go to the spark where actually you have downloaded the spark okay in a c only we will see like we will we have installed the spark right so go to the spark and the particular bin location right where we have installed the win utils okay select the path where you have a win utils give the variable value and click on the okay okay after doing this you have to click on the okay and uh, your environment variable is now set up okay, okay. after the after environmental setup what actually we will do we will open a anaconda anaconda prompt okay anaconda prompt we will open and what actually we will do we will try to create a new environment we will try to create a new environment okay and we will try to do a setup in that particular environment we will try to set up for the spark okay so what you have to do click on the search search for the anaconda you can see anaconda prompt right click on that and after that what we will do we will try to create a new environment how actually we can create a new environment conda create after that name and you have to give the what is the new environment name so i will give the pi spark we are learning a pi spark right so this is the name i am giving okay so this will create a new environment only the pi spark related uh, package only we will install in this particular environment okay it will asking yes so i will click on the yes okay now we are in a base base environment now we want to switch into this new environment so what you have to write conda activate pi spark okay now you can say this base got changed into the pi spark okay so this is the two thing we have to do and after that what we will do we will try to install a we will try to install this find spark okay find spark will help to work in the jupyter notebook okay conda install and this is the one we have to execute okay after that the package will install and then only we will be able to work in the uh, jupyter notebook so let us wait it to be installed okay this all the command i will give it to you also so that you can also focus okay and you can also install in your machine yes okay you can see this all the installation is uh, completing now okay now it is installed successfully what actually we will do we will install the jupyter also so what okay let me try pip install 
जुपिटर नोटबुक ओके सो फॉर मी द कोंडा वॉज नॉट वर्किंग सो आई यूज अ पीप इंस्टॉल जुपिटर एंड इट इज वर्किंग ओके नॉ लेट मी सी जुपिटर नोटबुक इफ आई टाइप इट शुड ओपन ओके वंस यू विल टाइप द जुपिटर नोटबुक यू कैन सी इट विल ओपन अवर जुपिटर नोटबुक एंड नॉ लेट एस सी अवर थिंग्स आर वर्किंग फाइन और नॉट ओके सो हाउ यू कैन चेक वेदर द स्पार्क इज वर्किंग फाइन और नॉट ओके सो लेट मी राइट इम्पोर्ट पाई स्पार्क फर्स्ट ओके सो वाट यू हैव टू डू क्लिक ऑन द न्यू क्लिक ऑन द न्यू नोटबुक दिस इज द जुपिटर नोटबुक ओके फर्स्ट यू विल ओपन दिस विल लुक लाइक दिस क्लिक ऑन द न्यू एंड क्लिक ऑन द नोटबुक ओके वंस विल क्लिक दैट दिस विल कम लाइक दिस पाइथन थ्री करना सो वी विल सेलेक्ट दैट ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ आई राइट इम्पोर्ट पाइस पार्क ओके एंड इफ आई ट्राई टू रन ओके हियर ओके इट विल गिव मी एरर ओके एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल दिस फाइंड स्पार्क राइट सो लेट मी राइट दैट ओके सो नाउ इफ आई विल राइट इम्पोर्ट फाइंड स्पार्क ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ आई विल इन स्लाइज एंड इफ आई विल राइट द इम्पोर्ट पाइस पार्क इट्स वुड वर्क ओके नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज वर्किंग मीन्स आफ्टर दैट नाउ वी कैन राइट एनी काइंड ऑफ द पाइस पार्क एंड वी कैन एक्जीक्यूट ओके सो वट एवर द इंस्टॉलेशन वी हैव डन राइट सो दैट इज अ वन टाइम एक्टिविटी ओके आफ्टर दैट वाट एक्चुअली वी हैव टू डू ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम वाट यू विल डू वाट वी विल डू यू ओनली हैव टू ओपन एना कोंडा प्रॉम्प्ट ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वाट यू हैव टू राइट यू हैव टू चेंज द इन्वायरमेंट वी हैव टू यूज कोंडा एक्टिवेट पाइस पार्क ओके ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू राइट द जुपिटर नोटबुक ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट यूर जुपिटर नोटबुक विल ओपन जुपिटर एंड आफ्टर दैट स्लैस ओके आफ्टर दैट यूर जुपिटर नोटबुक विल ओपन एंड ऑन दैट ओनली वी विल ट्राई टू अ डू अ प्रैक्टिस ओके सो दैट इज हाउ एक्चुअली वी विल डू अ प्रैक्टिस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लैब इफ यू हैव इंस्टॉल प्लीज डू इंस्टॉल प्लीज डू फॉलो ऑल द स्टेप आई विल ट्राई टू गिव यू इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन फॉलो फ्रॉम देयर ऑल्सो ओके दैट्स इट इन दिस विद थैंक यू